Good afternoon from Jakarta, Indonesia. Today, I explore modern Jakarta, and I felt there was no better way than to start here at the Bundaran High, which is Indonesia's, or I should say Jakarta's new uh, metro system. So we're gonna ride that, and we're gonna go into uh, modern Jakarta here, but I also just want to start off by exploring this area a bit. So let's hit the walk sign. I think this is working. Okay. And uh, yeah, last night this was lit up, but I don't know if it's going to work today. So I do need to get through here. And there's a very uh, high end shopping mall over here. So, yes, there is this uh, Plaza Indonesia, which is a pretty high end shopping mall. I saw some really big brands. I think there's like a Gucci over there, or no, sorry, Louis Vuitton. And uh, yeah, I am excited to explore there, but up here, there's like a viewing area where you can actually see the Bund Bundaran High, which is a, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, a tourist attraction. And I don't know how to get up there. So I do need to, there it is, yeah, the monument. But uh, I do need to figure out how to get in to this MRT. This will be my first time on uh, Indonesian public transportation. So I do need to figure this out. Hopefully I can buy a ticket down here. So yeah, we're gonna use this Metro. Okay. Oh, this is big. <laughs> All right. I need to uh, find a way here. Gotta say, this is a really clean metro uh, area so far. I'm going to Astoria or Estori Mindari, I believe is what it's pronounced. So I need to figure out where the ticket is. Okay, I have a single trip here. I wasn't sure, it was supposed to be five, but I ended up paying 11,000, I think it's for the card. So. Oh, I think I could have just used my bank card. Oh man. The person at the ticket counter was very friendly. Um, but this has been a challenging one because there are no English menus, which I can't expect, right? But uh, yeah, just so people are aware who are watching who may want to come here. But yeah, I have to say, this looks really nice and modern. Seems very new. And I think I did read that this is Jakarta's new metro system. Uh, so yeah, it, it just looks really nice in here. Uh, not sure when it's coming next, but we'll see. this correctly I should be at the uh, central business district take the stairs yeah Sudirman Sudirman so yes we are in the Sudirman central business district or SCBD you can see here Indonesia stock exchange so yes this is like what would we call it the main downtown area of Jakarta apparently it's pretty trendy let's find out but this is what I have selected as modern Jakarta this is truly it for my research so yeah you can see the uh, city skyline there all the buildings and I came with my appetite guys as I usually do <laughs> I am hungry 
it'll be interesting for me to compare where I've been to where I am right now. Uh, I've been in a pretty, uh, how do I say it, like local, very authentic area. I do want to see what's over here. Seems like there's like a walkway or something. But I do see a Ritz Carlton. <laughs> so, definitely get an idea of where we are here. So yeah, indeed. Cool walkway here. That will take us somewhere. I'm not sure where this is going. And I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm just wondering. Ah, seen H&M. Maybe this takes us into a shopping mall. Let's find out, guys. Pacific Place Jakarta. This does indeed look like a mall. So I do believe this is connected to the Ritz-Carlton in some capacity here. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at this. The most prestigious integrated mixed-use super block in Indonesia. Suderman Central Business District, or SCBD, is strategically located in the prestigious Golden Triangle, Jakarta. It's a visionary super block and the first of its kind, largest in Indonesia. Okay, so uh, retail places, I'm sure places to eat, shop, and also condominiums, things of that nature. So I do have to get my haircut. Do I? Maybe I do. I do want to get a tea here, I think. A tea Ozzy. Hello. Got myself a green, apple green tea. It is indeed very good. One of my favorites. Okay, so this is an interesting escalator. So, it's not like stairs, it's like the ones that you see in the airport, but it's going on a ramp. Very interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Very high end uh, grocery store over here. I'm not sure what the name is. And this seems to be the food section. Okay, got an Auntie Anne's. I'm usually interested in a pretzel, but not right now. So yeah, this grocery store looks really impressive. I know that might be not so exciting content. I found the part of the mall where all of the luxury brands are here. But um, let's find, uh, let's keep going up. You can see here. Men's wear, women's wear, more women's wear, and I think we're at the Lafayette Lounge right now. I'm gonna try to find this uh, gents barber shop. It's pretty cool. It's like tucked away, hidden. All of these uh, high-end clothing, and then in here, got gents barber shop. Hey guys, what do you think? I think you did a pretty good job on the hair here. Good to get a haircut, but yeah, this is super impressive mall. Really glad I visited. And now, I think we're gonna explore a little bit more here, or a lot more here, in the uh, Sertiman Central Business District, or the SCBD. So this Robot & Co. is a very highly rated restaurant. I'm not sure why it's called Robot & Co., but that might be the place I eat. I'm gonna actually eat at a nice place today, especially because I just got my hair cut. Okay, so there are pedestrian walk lights here, which is different than uh, where I've been in Sabang. So that is one observation that I wanted to include. Doesn't this look really nice, guys? So this is a massive, massive district here. And apparently, as you guys saw me reading in this video, this, is a hu this was a huge project here for Jakarta. One of the things that I'm loving here is that you've got these massive, beautiful skyscrapers. Look how tall high that building goes. There's a city, by the way, Citibank, right there. I love all of, uh, what, I, what I really love is that in between all of these skyscrapers, you have this green kind of landscape here that's very well manicured and fits into this whole district very, very, very well. Wow, this is really cool. So this cafe has like stanchions, like uh, you would see it like a uh, sports arena. And you can order food and sit up on the, uh, it's like, I don't know, a stanchion, is that the right word? It's like a roof deck seating area called Timu Cafe. Really nice, really, really nice. Looks like we've got something going on over here, by the way. Let's see what's over here. 
Oh, did I miss the exit or did I miss the entry? Oh, is this like a little ah, culinary market? Let's see if I can get in here. Oh, looks like there's something else here too. Look, culinary market. There's like a place with little stands, sort of like reminding me of hawker stands or street food that you can sit and eat. I think you guys get the picture, but it's in this uh, SCBD area. See Sate? Nice. Okay, so a couple observations. I've walking, been walking around here for a bit and a couple things coming to mind here. I have to say, this is one of the cleanest places in terms of like a district within a city that I've been. Very similar to BGC in Manila and very similar to Singapore. What's interesting is I believe this is a lot bigger than both of those places because Jakarta is the biggest city in Southeast Asia. It's one of the biggest cities in the world. And um, yeah, there's like a real scale to this district here. But everything is extremely clean, well manicured, organized, calm. You know, if I were to stay in Jakarta again, this is where I would decide to stay. And I'm sure many people, like I'm 30 years old, I'm sure many people in their 30s, late 20s love to live here because uh, it feels very trendy here and modern which is the whole point of this video to highlight modern Jakarta yeah I mean look at this wow across the way I don't know if you can read that it says beer hall so I'm currently going no alcohol but yeah you get the idea of uh, the kind of, uh, let's see here, visitors that, or the people who reside or, yeah, visit uh, SCBD are. Like younger people, probably after work, happy hour, after their nine to five, go to the beer hall. There's a beer garden back there. Go into that luxury mall. Uh, nice place to unwind after work. And you know, truthfully, there are not a lot of bars uh, where I've been in Sabang. And uh, yeah, so, this feels like a completely different part of Jakarta. Give you an idea of the scale here. So I've pretty much just done a big loop around uh, the mall, pretty much where I've been walking. Over there is the Timu Coffee Place, which you saw me. But the central business district goes all the way down here. And uh, yeah, this is there's really quite a lot to discover here. There is a uh, very highly rated Chinese restaurant here. I believe, with a rooftop, I believe it's up there. I'm gonna go try to eat there and hopefully we can get a rooftop spot. Very easy to cross here in the SCBD. And uh, let's find the entry way to Okay, so unfortunately two things. Number one, their kitchen's closed right now. They're only doing happy hour. Number two, rooftop's closed. And number three, if I wait till the rooftop opens, I have, to I have to be wearing long pants and I'm wearing shorts, as always. So, some other time. But I'm thinking maybe this Mr. or this robot cafe or something. I'm a feel I have a feeling that the other places I wanna go also will have a dress code. I'm somebody who likes to explore the world on foot. So what can I say? Usually that means I'm wearing shorts. It's okay though. Now, I like robots, so how about we go into this Robot & Co place? Hello sir. Okay, this looks really cool. Wouldn't it be sick if they served your food on, on like a conveyor belt or a robot or something? So guys, I grew up uh, about 90 minutes away from Philadelphia. And as a result, I've eaten many Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. I am very tempted. I have not had a cheesesteak in a very long time. But at the same time, this robot burger, it looks very good. I'm gonna need a minute to decide. Do 
I go for the cheesesteak, guys? Do I go for the cheesesteak? All right, since I've already had the world's best cheesesteak, I'm not gonna set myself up for disappointment, no offense. So I got the satay. Plus we're in Indonesia, you gotta get the satay, right? But I did get this chrysanthemum drink here, which I think has two pieces of dragon fruit on it. Let's give it a shot. And a lychee. Thank you. Mmm. Lychee. I think this is dragon fruit. Mm. That lychee is so fresh. Mm -hmm. And dragon fruit, which is one of my favorite fruits. Oh, now that is good. So here it is. We got wagyu satay, uh, some like uh, cabbage and uh, onions and things like that, rice, and then you got the dipping sauces over here. That was totally are spicy. So. Let's give this a shot. I love satay all over the world. And uh, in Indonesia, it's also very, very, very popular, but this is like a uh, wagyu satay. So. Here it is. Let's uh, dip it in the spicy sauce here. And let's go in. Ooh, it's pretty spicy. Oh yeah, it's definitely very spicy. Um, this wagyu, it's cooked really well. It's almost like a, maybe medium, medium well, something like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Let's try this salad. Pickled. It's a pickled salad. Mm. Simple rice with uh, shallots. Oh yeah, this meal is very good. All right, so that is a very nice place. I would highly recommend it. You should definitely check that out if you are here. Really good wagyu. Thank you. And uh, yeah, let's see where else I go. Sweets Wonderlands. I believe I see something called a city park over here. I think this is like a sports complex, but we're gonna walk on this bridge, get across the road, and maybe there will be a park there. Okay, a uh, jungle theme, forest theme here, right in the bang in the middle of a uh, large highway, which is very, very cool. I love the way this SCBD is designed and architected. It's really a nice, pleasant experience. Well, there appears to be some construction going on, so please mind the noise, but yes, I believe we're in the city park here. So let's explore this. I love a good city park. Having lived in multiple cities, it is very nice to have nature in the middle of all of the buildings and the noise and everything. Wow, guys, I was not expecting this. Look at all the people just enjoying life right now. Sitting out, having a picnic, enjoying food. It is around five o'clock, it is dinner time here. Look, more high rises or risers to sit on the, uh, the mountain, on the hill, I should say. And this is, this is truly beautiful, guys. Look at everybody here. I don't know if there's something special going on, but I genuinely believe that people are just enjoying themselves here. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this, and there's even this really nice pond here. Wow, there are so many people here. Oh, look, it's like a koi pond. Look at this, look at all the people. All the fish here 
I don't know if you can see, but big school of fish. Wow, so cool. I see Pizza Hut or something. Hmm, I'm curious to know what's going on or if people are just enjoying life, enjoying the evening. Wow. So this is the urban forest. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Galora Bung Carno. Urban forest. Yeah, look, there's like a log barricade. See a lot of people with uh, tripods with their iPhones here. This park has a perfect view of this skyline of this built of these buildings here. Wow. So I was dying to know. I got my answer. Literally nothing is going on. People hang out there like that every day. Enjoy dinner after work. What a cool thing. I would love to see this in other places. You know, especially in the United States, you don't see it a lot. Yeah, really cool. Okay, so since I just bought a single journey, I do have to, I did have to buy another journey, which was 5,000 rupiah. 15,000 is $1, so that's 33 cents. That's it, it's pretty affordable. So I just missed it. So we're gonna wait here for a bit. Last time it was about a 10 minute wait. Maybe it'll be quicker this time. <laughs> bit busier this time. Very clean, very fast, very efficient. Hello. All right, guys, we're up. That's a really great metro system. I also found out it's Bundaran Hai. It's the way that you say it. Bundaran Hai. I was saying Bandaran Hai. All right. I do want to see Bundaran Hai. It's an actual landmark. Actually, I met two uh, two new guys here. <laughs> so we're gonna go check out. Bundaran Hai. Bundaran Hai. Oh, I have a single. I think this is only for I know. Uh, MRT. I can tap for you. Are you, you can sure? go? Are you sure? Oh, yes. thank you. You can go by yourself, yeah? Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Oh, no. It's complicated. It's complicated. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, well my new friends that I met here tried to get me up to Bundaran Hai so you have to go in there and then you have to scan your card and you have to go up to see the viewpoint of Bundaran Hai but basically it's complicated I would have needed to take his card and then get back down so basically I couldn't get up there uh, but hey, it is what it is so basically you get a viewpoint of here and look at this, many people here uh, in enjoying themselves and uh, yeah enjoying the night it's a beautiful night here I was also told that this mall and this mall is pretty wealthy and there are like some really high-end brands maybe we'll go in there maybe we won't maybe the video ends here I don't know either way make sure you subscribe Good energy here. 